It's time to hold on to the night and go on this fight. Hopefully we won't have any crazy spectacular mishaps of exiting to the menu screen, because that would be quite hill air e us times ten. Oh my god, I need that star, no. Wait, I, I didn't get it now. Uh, no. I can't do this, honestly. I, I'm just terrible, I swear. Oh, I'll get over it. I'll have to come back and fetch those last two stars, but yeah, you get the idea of how to get them, I hope. I should hope, and... Hey look, we hit the balloon, but not the right spot. So yes, we have cleared the secret exit! Hooray! Now it's gonna find the last two stars, which I'm not going to bother with at the moment, and look, we can get back to the shop. So now then we just have level 6 to deal with, so... Let's deal with level 6! Although I have no idea how to deal with the last level and getting those stars, but hey, we are now back to new stuff. Die. Um, wait, this isn't exactly new, because I kind of already started this before. Hmm. <gasps> As I have hiccups now, hooray. I gotta say, I don't like hiccups. Who does? Not all this is new, I'll probably end up... Just leaving this as is though, because I can't imagine it would take up too much time to redo this part, especially since I'm about to redo it every time I die. Hey, I need to breathe. So then, let's hopefully not be too moronic. Maybe, possibly, where's the first star? I need stars to live. If I don't get my star quota for the month, I'm just gonna end up like that girl did right there, where she kinda fell on the bamboo stick and died. Hmm. Well, I guess we should try again. Maybe I, I can just fade after this so I don't put my stuff in jeopardy. Whoa, there it goes being wrecked for the stars. Oh, here's the first star. Oh, here's the first star. And this line is back from the beginning. Yes, it does. So this level is essentially a maze of pipes. Isn't it amazing? I can't believe that's on there. So yes, I did go there, and it was a very nice town. I recommend that you go there for Thanksgiving. Because we all know Thanksgiving in Canada is much earlier than it is in North America, so... Hey, even though Thanksgiving's already over in Canada, I may as well go ahead and bring up the fact that it exists in both countries. Although I don't exactly know why Canada has Thanksgiving, but hey, whatever. It's their country, they can do whatever they want. Yo, what? Okay, yeah. Yo, um, estamos jugando un videojuego y that girl just killed me by stabbing me with a bamboo stick. I almost hit a broom. Booms and bamboo, booms and bamboo are not exactly the same thing. You see, brooms are made from bamboo, and this leads to this area, so that's good. And, uh, what did that accomplish? Oh, right. So in case you're Mr. Stupid Pants like me and forget your carrot, you cannot fly without a carrot. Remember that, kids. When you want to be a pilot, you're going to need to have carrots or else you're not going to be able to fly. And then the passengers will get all upset that they won't be able to go on their trip that they planned so well because you decided not to eat any carrots or bring any along. I mean, really now. Come on, think about the people other than yourself. So, there is a star here. And maybe if we ask it nicely enough, it will not be a verb. And we will continue onward. And we will hopefully get out of the bamboo forest patch thing. We are missing one star so far. And I know where it is, but I just can't get to it because I'm unable to fly because I left my carrot at work. At home. Or something. Oh great, I'm making more sexual in you and those. Oh well, someone has to. And uh, we're missing another star, and here's a secret exit. Well then, I think I have my spit. What? Marissa, I didn't know you could fly. That was awkward. Well, um. I suppose I need to look for those last two stars in stage 6, and I might as well get the last two in stage 5 while I am off camera. I don't exactly know where I'm at in terms of time, but... Whatever. I will go do that. Alright, let's try this for another time. I think the secret here is to be very exactly nimble and just be quick. Quick, Marissa, be back! Now, I think the story here is to not do that. Oh, wait. Game is going to be the end of me, I think. Oh, I know what I have to do. I need to do that, essentially. I need to get hit 
getting smaller so I can hopefully finish off my lane to get in the Star World. And there we go. Marcel's just going to be taken away by the balloon and God knows what's going to happen after that. More than likely, Marcel will probably hit some bamboo that's very spiky and it'll pop the balloon and then she will be forced into purgatory. Or whatever, which is going to die. We'll just call it purgatory for now. And I will probably cut most of this because I don't really feel like stopping the video for like a couple of seconds of footage. I already have to do that enough because I was kind of thinking when I paused the video while I'm doing stuff off camera. So yes, I'm trying to keep away from lag because it's annoying to the nth degree and both what just happened. Mm. Wait, come back platform, I need you. Ah, uh, this is not going my way. Oh, whatever. I can just speed this up by like 800 speed. I must, if I must, if I must. Those little bunny rolls that give me carrots will actually do that. So then I can do this when they get to jump. So yeah, that explains why they give us a carrot. Is that because they are hospital? Hospital? Not hospital? Not a place where you go and get treated for disease and sickness and other injuries and whatnot. Alright, so far, so good, so good, so far. We just gotta make sure that we lose our ability to fly and make it to the level so we can grab the final star and then float away from the balloons. Marissa loves her balloons. That is why she has since gone in her way to use flying broomsticks now. I mean, balloons were more convenient, but she was running out of helium to use, so she had to find some other method to float around with. So she decided to adopt the broomstick, and the broomstick's name was George. Yeah, I need to get a bit of tips with this, because I am in need of having all stars. In this level, hopefully that won't kill me. Yes, good. We are making progress. Good progress. Much progress. And I will not die yet. You cannot have my soul, because I am still using it. And all we gotta do is say we're home free. Home free, Willy! Hey, actually hit the balloon this time. Well, I guess Marissa will not have any new funds of... Well, that happens to Marissa when she is using a balloon instead of her broom. It pops on her. So yes, let us continue by gathering, gathering the last two stars here. Gathering because we cannot gather stars. You must gather them. As you know, it's like lathering... And, uh, I think we have to go this way first. I can't honestly remember. I remember there being a star that I forgot to grab, and I didn't do anything like that last time, but hey, for the sake of being different. Oh, man, this is not going well at all. Give me one-ups, give me frog coins, give me everything I need, give me a carrot, and we will go on our way. And we will not pretend that I play Super Mario RPG all the way through, because I got to a certain point, lost my save file, and I was not going to start up again, so yes. Onward into the bamboo. Did you know that bamboo was used by traveling for witches? Well, witches use bamboo to travel by, I guess, is what I'm trying to say. This is a pipe. We can smoke from it if we must, but I'm not trying to convince kids to smoke. Do not smoke, children. It is bad for your brain. And by brain, I mean... Well, I actually do mean brain because it actually is quite considerable. Well, uh... The last one is in that little catacomb upstairs, so we're just going to die anyway. Dang it. I'm getting bad at this. Really bad. I mean, terra bad. Ugh. Give me a carrot. And... Carrots. Oh, boy. This is like repost episode. Well, someone has to do it. This will probably be the bulk of the episode, just on two times speed, maybe. Possibly only one person knows and his name is unavailable. Uh, I don't think we actually have to go this way, but I may as well take it out of my convenience schedule and put it into my own convenience schedule. Well, this is a, not really a shortcut, but I can pretend now, can't I? Hmm, I wonder if... Yes, we can insert our head in this pipe, and we can float over here. And there's the last star. Now we can get on to the new stuff. Presumably. So, from the first minute to about the sixth minute, I will need to speed up. I will keep that in mind by telling myself in the video instead of telling you guys. Instead of that, that. So, yeah, we have all the stars now in the levels. So, we can continue on into the next boss. But, just as a precautionary measure, let us go on ahead now. Find it kind of silly that you can't exit stages, but hey. Ooh, different music for the area. I wonder who the boss will be. Will it be the mushrooms? The last time we had somebody's head there to signify who it was, and it ended up being Alice, just like I had resumed. But this looks like it's going to be a mushroom boss. That or we're just going to get one of the six mushrooms that we need to get from this person. Oh. Well, it's one of those levels where you have to pick the right decision. Of course, if you pick the wrong decision, then you get the, ac the actual star, so... I might actually have to purposefully mess up if I want to get all the stars, and the background just kind of shifted there. Whoa! And, of course, I'm going to make the same mistake twice. 
And the background just flipped again, so... We want to go down. What? No, we don't. Oh, maybe I need to go down first. And then go up? I don't hear any things saying that I did wrong. So I would assume that I'm doing correct. I hope this is safe. There are no safes here. Well, that wasn't safe. That was quite dangerous. Mm. Marissa, your big squishy head doesn't exactly help. I need to get the incorrect one so I can get all the stars. Crap. You know what? I'm just going to brush this off and edit, I suppose. So, I'm going to continue talking because we'll probably end up being sped up again because I'm quite a fan of that, I suppose. So yeah, you'll get like two minutes unsped up and eight minutes, okay, and two minutes sped up again. So, hooray. Now I gotta make sure that I get everything that I need in order to make a salad because the bunnies love their salads and I've got to... I wonder if we can get that star without getting the wrong one, but hey, I am a questioning person and I'm not going to find out the answer because I'm going to go to the next section and I will fly into this little catacomb right here. And I'm surprised that worked out in the end, but then again, I lost all my momentum by ducking. Crap. <sighs> like I said, I am amazing at this game, and I'm glad I saved before this boss part. Well, not really boss part, but the castle. Wow. Productive, productive, and more productive. Productivity is up by 99%. So as Marissa's turning Sepieto and we are going to continue into the castle and hopefully make use of this ability to stomp on enemies. We are now a rabbit, so we are going to eat carrots and say, what's up, Doc? For lack of a better person to ask, because the Doctor is a very strange creature. As you may or may not know, his job is to sit there and tell us that we are taking bad care of ourselves, even if we have, like, a six-pack, and I don't mean beer, and I don't mean soda either. And, hey, we can get that star regardless of if we go the right way or not. So, we shall bunny hop our way down here, and we shall bunny hop our way into the catacomb to get this catacomb so we can brush our bunny ears to perfection. I will listen out for the beeps, and there's one right there. I wonder if we can go back and rectify that error. But I gotta make sure I can... Nope, we can't not rectify the error. We have to just deal with it. Is there a invisible... Is there an invisible brick here, or do I need to jump on that? Oh, hey look, a P-switch. Huh. I'm concerned about this now. When you put a P-switch into the formula, it tends to not really work out too well with the children. Something tells me that is part of the proper way to go. Are there more? No. Hmm. Well, I suppose it's worth asking what does the P-switch want us to do? Maybe it tells us the right way to go. Yes, it does. Wait! No! Stop! Wait for me, Mr. P-Switch! Oh, that works. I hope the P-Switch didn't include a star. Because I would be very sad if I didn't get to conjugate my verb myself. And the last star should be inside something? Up here! Yay! No cryptic... No, no overly cryptic stars. Anyways, now we are at the boss, who looks like an upside-down Wendy. Hmm, I think I see what's going on here. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! You know, actually, this isn't so bad. 
I'm assuming we need to kill the one with the mushroom on the head, at least. Well, uh... We are gathering a bunch of little star points, so that's a good sign, right? Um... I don't know if we're expected to kill all of them or not. You know, I had a reserve item. I have no idea why I didn't summon it. And that's going to require getting all the stars again. Dang it. Well, since I'm going to be doing a lot of editing, I'm going to assume that I have plenty of time, because I've already had to speed this up more than once already. And if need be, I can completely cut out this run, because, honestly, you've seen it twice now. Dang it, you think I would learn by now that I'm not supposed to go this way. And I'm just gonna do stupid stuff all day long, because I am afraid to succeed in life. In death. Well, whatever. I don't care. If I lose all my lives, I lose all my lives. Blah, 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 blah. Hopefully, I will not make a giant dingus out of myself. Huh. I figured this was going to be like a windy boss, but nope. Not going to be the case. Of course, I can continue being stupid, and maybe if I am not as dumb, I will be able to get an extra life. Which would save me a bunch of issues and problems, and... Desires! It's a very sad day in Merciland. I will continue as a new part, so that way I will know not to edit what I need to stay in to. Alright, Mr. Brabbit Lady, I'm going to destroy you. And by that I mean I am a rabbit too. What are you going to do about it, huh? Huh, punk? You're going to do that, huh? Well, I got a surprise for you. I'm not a complete dingus after all. Whoops. Or perhaps I am and I'm just being a little cocky. But hey, someone has to be. Hmm... This is a little over, under, and up. Hooray! We got a 1-up. And there's the magical Kinoko. And by that I mean Mushroom. This game is called Six Kinoko in the actual description thingy. Yeah. And Kinoko is Japanese for Mushroom. Supposedly. And that'll lead us to World 3. Which cuts off into World 2. Huh. World star complete. Do I get that in the path world? Huh, I must be missing a stage. Wait, that stage over there must be stage six. Let's find out. Together. I'm afraid to go alone. Stage seven. So we're missing a secret exit. Or is that a continuation of this? Maybe, maybe not. I guess we shall find out in due time. Well, I guess that's all for today. Let us end like we usually do and jump on this lady's head. At least I'm assuming it's a lady. It could be a man for all I know. Silly Japan! Women have breasts, men don't. Or something like that. You just keep on doing your thing, Marissa. And now we are king of the world. And by that I mean queen, because she's a girl. We're just going to... Squat on your lap head. Lap head. Hmm. Yeah. See you guys next time.